Today I'm going to share with you the recipe for fromage fort. Fromage means cheese, and this is a recipe that I received from Nala's Fromagerie next door to Wine Premier. This is a recipe that you would use for any extra cheese that you have around the house. A little cheddar, a little mozzarella. This morning I'm going to use some Asiago cheese and some cheddar cheese, and I'm just going to put it right here in the food processor. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of garlic that I've already chopped up here. The more garlic, the better. Makes it taste so good. And then any fresh herbs that you might have. This is a little thyme. Sprinkle it right in there. You can use fennel, whatever is fresh in your garden or whatever you can pick up at the grocery store. A little of the fresh ground black pepper. Just for a little flavor. And then I'm going to add, this is the best part, this is Pinot Grigio. I'm just going to pour some Pinot Grigio in here. And we're just going to blend this up. You can put just about anything that you want in here. A little more garlic, any seasonings that you have. And then we just take it out, mix a nice little spread. You go ahead and spread it right on your bread. You can toast it if you'd like. This is great in the morning with your eggs if you toast this. Just like that. And it's a great way to use up any extra cheese that you have. And make sure that if you are able to drink wine when you're having it, make sure you use the same wine that you use in the recipe so that you can really enjoy the flavors. It brings the whole flavors together. And that's how simple it is to make fromage fort.